Whew. All right, everyone. It is me again. Johnson Chan. So, I just did a pretty heavy workout, so I'm still catching my breath, but I've mostly caught, I guess, most of my breath, but I definitely should take a walk after I'm done. I mean, I kind of need to do some light grocery shopping anyway. I'm already out of, like, spinach. So, so today's usual uh, YouTube sources all had nothing for new content. I guess, uh... I guess they're not getting paid to promote uh, any more, like, you know, crappy projects or whatever. Mm -hmm. Excuse me. There you go. So it was a burp I was trying to get out. Even though I didn't eat anything at all today. So, so you know, I did my own digging and research. Uh, we're going to cover content creators, of course. And uh, someone actually mentioned this in the YouTube comments, but when I first heard the domain, I immediately thought, sketchy scam project. Uh, but, you know, since there was no content today, and I don't want to take today off, right, I always want to be doing something, I just simply went on XYZ uh, website and just simply pulled, you know, one project from each of these types uh, that looked pretty good and with a recent launch, or very close, or already launched. And, <clears throat> Vampire Matic, huh. Oh, yeah, 15% daily APR. Yeah, I imagine that's going to be pretty sustainable, especially with no taxes. <laughs> Uh, if they have a tax. So, yeah, long story short, this showed up on the XYZ website. In fact, it's right over here. And the tokenomics on this look pretty good. Also, we're going to be going over my personal thing I just did today, which is uh, stablecoin farming. That's actually going on the playlist because thanks to all of the... Thanks to all of the uh, volatility, you know, stable coins are your best friends because that's basically, you're basically going to the U.S. dollar, right? So you know how when the markets, you know, when they go up and down, the first thing we want to look at is, yes, the 10-year yield, right, and U.S. bond yields in general, right, in aggregate, because right now they're cratering. Um, you also want to look at the Dixie right here. All right, so when the Dixie's going up, that means you probably want U.S. dollars. So having a nice little well-balanced portfolio, especially in crypto, having a dollar is actually king, All right? Because I've recently been stocking up on Titano. I even bought back a little bit of Sphere because it was so stupid cheap, and now it's actually going back up, right? So, you know, I caught, I caught everything, and it's actually pretty nice. In fact, uh, you know, because I'm now doing stablecoin farming, I mean... I think I'll still keep buying Titano as long as it's, uh, I forget what I wrote in the playlist, like below four or five cents after that, I'm going to stop buying it because it'll just be too expensive. I may even just stop at like two or two and a half cents, you know. So, so anyway, we got a lot of projects to cover today. So one of each type, you know, because even though I don't really do two forks anymore, uh, I still like covering them because it's really good traffic and people still love them. So it's like, mm, okay. So, you know, uh, we'll see going forward how we'll do this. Because if not, you know, I'll just keep uh, doing what I do. Just, like, you know, keep pulling projects from this bridge. And then just, you know, roll the dice. Well, actually, you're going to roll the dice if you're going to invest in it. I'm obviously not going to. All right. So. <clears throat> all right. So, Content Creators is apparently a brand new project. It's launching in seven hours and, like, three minutes as of this uh, recording. Has a daily ROI of 10% a day, and they take Binance dollars. So this is a very good uh, start right off the bat. Uh, according to this, they have okay, so they have a 5% deposit fee. So you put in 100 bucks, you know, you're <clears throat> you're only gonna get back 95 dollars worth of TVO. The withdrawal fee is 10%. And you can see the breakdown here. Now what I like is it's a simpler version of Crops Farmer. So there's a 30-hour reward cutoff, so it's like B and B minor. There's a 13-hour compound timer. So believe it or not, uh, you're not gonna have uh, crazy like compounding every 12 hours, unless maybe you write up a smart contract to do this automatically for you, I guess. Uh, the eight times mandatory compound is only uh, well eight instead of ten, and there's a 90% tax for early withdrawals. So basically, you just cannot withdraw until you do the eight times mandatory compounding. There's also a 6% tax for the smart contract, which is kind of mentioned here in the withdrawal fee. 
So unlike Crops Farmer, there does not appear to be a compound bonus. So that basically means it actually talks about it down here somewhere, right? You're actually going to get diluted. Uh, okay, I'm just going to search for the word. Yeah, your, your, your investment gets diluted when more people come onto the platform, right? Content careers. That's why it's always important to compound so you won't be losing ground with gaining. I've talked about this before. The reason why your daily income is going down is because everyone else is withdrawing, depositing, and more importantly, compounding, right? So your, your daily income keeps going down because everyone else is, you know, taking their, they're taking their fair share of the pie, so to speak, and you're getting less of a, a you're getting less of a percentage of the pie. So that's why you're constantly like, you know, battling it out. Now, I don't want to read all of this because I did this off stream already, but there is actually going to be like BNB Miner and probably other projects, supposedly. Uh, they will be injecting profits back into the contract directly. So you get like a boost in income again. And it actually talks about that here. <clears throat> so the only thing I actually don't like about this site is the simple fact that the English is very bad, right? So I have to assume that this is like run by a Chinese guy or something, or somebody in Asia, right? Well, obviously, English is not the, you know, uh, native language. Okay, this is a fork of space field game, BUSD crossfire, and baked beans with a fundamental change. So I've never heard of space field game, but maybe we should take a look at that. But obviously, we know about crops, farmer, and baked beans. So assuming this is legit, <clears throat> because they have some... Audits up here, they of course they go to GitHub. Okay. So assuming this is legit, this could actually work, but just bear in mind that there's no compound bonus, so you're gonna get diluted like crazy. Now in my case, you know, I could try doing this launch, and if it's a legit project, you know, I can get the initial boost because everyone else is gonna be depositing, right? Uh, but you know, I already have enough windows open and I wanna play it safe, and you know. I think I'm already pretty good. I mean, I'm already getting diluted pretty harshly, even with like the near max, uh, you know, compound bonus. I think I'm up to like, tw well, now I'm at 36, but before it was 32% on crops, far BUSD crops farmer. I'm barely keeping up. Like, I'm barely keeping up. I also accidentally hit the auto left click macro button. So. You know, I really just don't want to pull anywhere uh, from everywhere else. And on top of that, I've already gone into a new, technically, a new quote-unquote project, which is Beefy Finance. I've talked about this before a long time ago, but now it's time to make an actual dedicated video on stablecoin farming, right? So, but aside from that, I mean, if this is a legit project, I mean, this will be a very solid project. I mean, aside from the bad English, right, this actually looks pretty good. You know, they mentioned all the stuff I like to hear. They've got good tax system, right? You know, they're punishing uh, people who dump and withdraw from the project too much. And, of course, it's got the mandatory cutoff, all right? In fact, it's less than Crops Farmer. It's only 30 hours. So no compound bonus and 30-hour reward cutoff. So this is actually more like a higher-yield version of BNB Miner. Perfect, all right? Perfect. So, again, assuming this is not a scam rug pull, right, and... You know, now the XQC watched a video for the whole world to see about the S the IRS and Department of Justice and whatever actually arrested rug pull scammers because you know, they were stupid enough to do it here in America, right? Two 20 year olds. Hopefully that should reduce the amount of rug pull scams that plague the space. But I mean, that's only going to be a temporary thing. I mean, the reach of the United States can only go so far. And we're technically an empire slash country in decline. So yeah but aside from that i mean this looks really good like if i didn't have so many projects already that i'm waiting for those minor projects to fail so i don't i got so i don't have to have so many windows open uh yeah i would totally do this project all right but but because i'm a little hesitant because this could still be a scam you know i want to wait to see if this is actually a rug pull if it's not then you know i would have put money into this project so it's up to you to decide how much risk you want to take on, but, you know, I, I like what I see so far, aside from the bad English. Now, they do have something called a stable certificate. My stupid camera is covering it. But basically, it's like fixed 2% a day, all right? And it has no fluctuation. 
I mean, it's kind of because the English is so confusing and bad. I don't understand how they're gonna fund it, but uh, they'll supposedly fund it. But that's still a lot. So I mean, that's the oh, that's the other thing too. I don't know how it's gonna be sustainable. So I don't know. We'll just see. I mean, there's plenty of taxes, so I think in theory they should be able to sustain it. But you know, we'll we'll have to see. So anyway, check out contentcreators.vip. Um, I mean, it's a minor project, so I, mean, I don't know what else there is to say. We got a lot of content to cover, even though there's nobody else on YouTube doing anything, apparently. So I will do it. And uh, I'll see you in the next project, which I think is a tomb fork, which I just ripped off of, you know, the XYZ website. It's at, it's exactly at Peg, supposedly. Or it's below, slightly below Peg. So I don't know, we'll take a look. Like, subscribe, share this video around. Of course, hit the subscribe button in the lower right corner of the video. I mean, that button should be showing up. <clears throat> Thank you again to all the old and new people watching this video. Let's keep growing this channel. Let's push for 1600 And, um, yeah, I didn't actually go into my usual rambles, but, I don't know, maybe I'll save it for the next video. Yeah, so. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next uh, thingy project. And, uh, yeah, con uh, check out contentcreators.vip. It's, it's literally launching, like, today. So, in a little less than seven hours now. What is wrong with this? What? No, there's something wrong with my left click. No, it's actually the website. All right, whatever. Thanks.